Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, RDS monitoring and read replicas. So if you have a database running in sandbox or production, monitoring would be your first concern. And RDS basically provides a pretty comprehensive monitoring. So rarely you would need any external agent or any third party tool to monitor your RDS. So you can see I have just created an RDS instance. So it's still in the backing up state, but it's good enough. So let's just go into this. And you can see there's a monitoring tab. So let's just press the monitoring tab. And you can see we have a bunch of monitoring which is already there for you. Like CPU utilization, DB connection count, your database free storage, your memory on database, write input, IO output, read input output. And then if you go to next page, there's a bunch of monitoring on the next page as well. And then another page you have. So read i mean rds gives you a lot of monitoring preset basically there are two types of uh, monitoring for rds one is the metric base which is this where you have different matrices another one is uh, event based so if you see on the left hand side there are there's a basically an option for event subscription and event so let's first go to events and see what events are there so you can see all these events are happening on my database like it's creating an automated snapshot right now so this is the latest event basically so this is when i had an older instance and i terminated it and you can see there's a delete event and then again so you can see all the different kind of events which are there happening and they are there on my events uh, page so what if i want to get alerted or i want to get notified on a certain event so for that we have an event subscription so let's go to event subscription i have created one event subscription already so what i'll do is i'll create another event subscription to show you guys i'll say say instance shutdown event so this is an event where my rds instance shutdown would happen and i want to get notified if ever that happens so let's select and topic so if you don't have a topic already you can give any random name here and AWS will create the topic for you in AWS SNS which is a simple notification service so we'll talk about notification service in the upcoming lectures for recipient I'll give my email address here so that I get an email to show you guys and for source type I'll select instance I'll select a specific instance which is my monitoring DB which is still in the backup state and I'll select the specific event and I would say deletion so anytime deletion happens on my instance I want to get notified so this is another way you can monitor your uh, basically RDS instance uh, on AW, on RDS console, you can also have access to your logs, the, your MySQL logs or your database logs. So you can see next to monitoring, there's a tab called for logs and events. So these are the events which happened uh, as, as, as we saw in the events tab. But let's go down and you can see all these logs over here. And if you want to view any log, you can just do a simple view. It will show you. And if you want to watch them in like, live kind of environment you can do a watch on them so and if you want to download them there's a download button for that as well so this is how you can get your logs basically of your mysql database uh, you can directly create basically alarms from rds console itself so you don't need to go to cloudwatch alarm cloudwatch uh, tab and cloudwatch service to create alarms you can directly create alarms for different kind of alerts so let's say I want to create an alert for high CPU usage. So I don't want to send any notification. I want to select CPU utilization. Uh, suppose CPU utilization goes up 90 for consecutive period of say five of one minute. So in five minutes, if for five minutes your CPU utilization is greater than 90 and I want to get alert for that. And you can do a create alarm. So I'm not creating alarm right now. But if you want, you can do that okay so moving on uh, all these matrices are, are available to you like the, these matrices are available to you in cloudwatch as well so let's go to cloudwatch and see uh, as well so 
virtual switch to cloud watch go to matrices you can see rds so you, in basically in cloud watch you have a lot more matrices compared to what you get shown in the rds console go to per database metrics i'll select my monitoring Okay, so here it is. So you can see my monitoring database is over here and you can see all these matrices which are available. So, I mean, there's a lot more matrices over here compared to what you have in the RDS console. And if you want to create an alarm for any of these, so you just need to click this, uh, you need to do, okay, it's added to graph. You just need to go to graph metrics and you see this bell icon over here just need to click this and you'll you can create alarm from here so don't want to create an alarm and same goes for the events as well so you have events here as well for all the services so you just need to do an rds and then you have all these different events over here so you can create an alarm you can suppose for any any particular uh, event you have uh, an action suppose if, like if you have a delete delete event and you want to perform some action on delete you can have a lambda function do it so you can set target as that lambda function but that is all for i mean basically devops pro and solution architect pro exam uh, for solution architect associate i think this much knowledge in, uh, is enough that where you can see all these events and how you can monitor your rds instance cool so now let's go back to our rds uh, console and now we are going to talk about read replicas so read replicas are nothing they're just the read only copy of your database of your master database which you've created so what you can do with that is that you in your application suppose you have an application running which is pointing to your database and you create a read replica so in your application code you can redirect all your read traffic to your read replica because read replica also provides you uh, uh, an endpoint like your RDS. So you can use that endpoint to redirect all your tra read uh, traffic to read replica. Uh, it's different from multi-AZ. So don't confuse it with multi-AZ because with multi-AZ you have a standby instance running in a different AZ. But all your requests are go still going to your master database. So none of your requests are going to that standby instance. But in case of failure, your standby instance get promoted to your master database. But in read replica, it's not the same. So you are redirecting all your read ins, read operations to your read replica and only the write operations are going to your uh, master database, right? Uh, you can have multiple read replicas, uh, but read replica is only available with MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle, and Postgres. So if you are running Aurora or MSSQL, you cannot create read replicas. Uh, you can have up to, I think, five but number is not important, I think, but you can have up to five read replicas and you can create read replicas in a different region as well. So let's go to DB and it's creating read replica is very easy. You just need to select your DB, go to action and create read replica. So you can see you, it is, you are presented with the same kind of screen when you're creating an RDS instance, but you get an option to select a region. So you can even have a across the region read replica running and you can change the size and uh, type of instance as well. So this is about read replica. Another thing with read replica is that if your master database goes down, you can promote a read replica to the master database. So, but you have to do it manually. Uh, in case of multi-AZ, the AWS takes care of promotion of uh, the standby instance to master database. But when you are running read replicas, you have to do it manually. So I think this is it for this video guys. I think I hope you liked it and if you liked it just uh, like my videos, share my videos, subscribe to the channel and if you have any query just post it in the comments. I'll come back to it within an hour or so. Uh, so I'm pretty active on YouTube. So I hope you liked it and so let's just continue with our course. Thank you for watching.